The trend of reintroducing vintage car brands is growing, and Subaru is the latest to jump on the bandwagon. The Japanese automobile manufacturer has decided to revive a truck brand from the previous entry to compete in the compact pickup market. The Ford Maverick has dominated the market segment since its launch, but today we'll be discussing exactly why the new Subaru Brat has shaken up the whole industry. Powertrain Truck buyers pay most attention to what's under the hood. That's not to say that other aspects like design and capability are not important, but nothing can be a deal breaker or maker like the engine that the truck comes with. Engines are a core component for any car, but they're especially important for trucks. This is because truck drivers are more concerned with their pickup's performance capability, particularly on rough terrain. They want an engine that is durable and that can be relied upon consistently. The compact pickup segment is all about the Ford Maverick right now, and Subaru engineers will be paying close attention to the Maverick when selecting the engine for the Subaru Brat. The one thing that makes the Maverick really stand out is its hybrid powertrain. A 2.5-liter four-cylinder combined with an electric motor to yield a cumulative 191 horsepower. The setup not only has enough power for a truck of this size, but is also very efficient. However, we don't expect the new Subaru Brat to have a hybrid powertrain at all, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The Maverick has been designed and marketed for young urban buyers who don't have a lot of utility for traditional trucking purposes. But there's also a growing market of people who do want the traditional capabilities and performance even in a compact pickup. These people are not very attracted to the efficiency of the truck's engine. They would rather pick reliability and power over a good fuel average in the city. This is because they want to buy the truck for off-roading or commercial utilization, and with the prices for mid-size and full-size trucks escalating, they want cheaper alternatives. They'd rather have a smaller truck that is more reasonably priced, but is also relatively more capable than the Maverick and Santa Cruz. And this is the niche that Subaru wants to target. The 2.4-liter turbocharged engine is one of the prime candidates for the new Subaru Brat. The engine is powered by 260 horses, which beats even the gasoline powertrain on the Ford Maverick. This 2.4-liter turbocharged engine is already utilized for the Subaru Outback, and its performance is quite decent. Another option will be the 182-horsepower 2.5-liter engine. This engine is also available for the Outback. It can become an additional option for some of the less equipped trims on the lineup, but primarily the company wants to position its new Subaru Brat as a more capable alternative to the Ford Maverick. It doesn't want to become the soft option. It wants to go big and capitalize on the people's need for a cheaper yet more performance-oriented truck than the Maverick. Fuel Efficiency Without the hybrid powertrain, the new truck will stand no chance against the Ford Maverick's record-setting fuel economy. The hybrid trims of the Maverick are rated for 42 mpg in the city and 33 mpg on the highway by the EPA. No other truck in America can rival these absolutely spectacular fuel economy numbers. But the new Subaru Brat will be fuel efficient, at least for a gasoline-based powertrain. Like we've discussed, the most likely candidates for the new truck are the 182 horsepower 2.5 liter engine and 260 horsepower 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. Both of these engines have good fuel economies. On the Subaru Outback, the 182 horsepower 2.5 liter engine can achieve 26 mpg in the city and 33 mpg on the highway. The 2.4 liter turbocharged engine is good for 23 mpg in the city and 30 mpg on the highway. Obviously, there will be a difference in performance for the new Subaru Brat, but if the company engineers can get the dimensions right, this fuel economy will be very close to what these engines achieve on the Subaru Outback. The gasoline trims of the Ford Maverick are rated for 22 mpg in the city and 29 mpg on the highway. This means that the Subaru Brat will definitely stand a chance to beat it, at least in the gas-powered Maverick variants. Towing Capacity as the company is looking to differentiate from the Maverick in the way it markets itself, it'll look to build in a strong towing capability. The entire premise of Subaru's strategy is to position itself as the more capable and reliable compact pickup in the American market. The Japanese automobile manufacturer wants to relegate the Maverick to a softer alternative. This is why company engineers are spending quite a lot of time ensuring that the new truck comfortably beats the Maverick in this department. The most equipped Maverick can tow only 4,000 pounds. This is really been a disappointing sphere, especially for people who want to do more than just drive their trucks around the city. Moreover, the Ford Maverick's hybrid trims can only tow 2,000 pounds. 
Obviously, we'll have to wait for Subaru's official announcement, but the news coming out of the company strongly indicates a more capable truck will hit the roads than the Ford Maverick, and this is definitely going to transform the compact pickup market. The segment was considered dead by most automobile companies only a few years ago, and now it's heavily dominated by the Ford Maverick. But if Subaru Brat can come forward and challenge the Maverick's monopoly on multiple fronts, the situation could change very quickly and dramatically. Off-roading capability Subaru is not coming to the American compact pickup market without any solid strategy. In fact, it has carefully crafted a roadmap to success. It wants to build the new Subaru Brat around the concepts of strength, reliability, and durability, and most importantly, off-roading capability. The Ford Maverick is an amazing truck, but it is primarily designed for driving on paved roads and surfaces. Yes, there are specific off-roading focused trims available on the lineup, but they're nowhere near what you would call traditional off-roading trucking capability. And they're quite expensive too. The Subaru Brat will be different. It'll have natural strength and power as underlying foundations of its core focus. This means that if you're looking for an off-roading focus, cheaper alternative to mid-size and full-size trucks, you might want to wait for the Subaru Brat. The new Subaru Brat will also have an all-wheel driving system as a standard feature for all trims on the lineup. This is a great feature to have for off-roading enthusiasts. All-wheel driving system is also available for the Ford Maverick, but it does not come as a standard feature. The systems offer control and power that are very conductive for driving on rough and challenging terrain. Design the original Subaru Brat was a two-door compact pickup with two passenger seats installed in the bed to avoid being classified as a truck. Yes, that's right. The passenger seats in the bed were a simple measure to avoid the protectionist tax that would otherwise have been applicable due to its import status. But times have changed, and the new Subaru Brat will primarily offer a truck with a crew cab design rather than its two-door predecessor. Of course, the company might still decide to keep the regular cab for a few trims as a throwback to its vintage truck. The rest of the truck's design will be inspired by the Subaru Outback. The primary focus of compact pickups is to provide SUV-like driving experiences on a truck. And although the new Brat wants to establish a reputation for traditional strength and capability, it doesn't want to necessarily give up the comfortable driving status. This is why the company is also looking to make the interior design more comfortable than the Maverick. The minimalistic design on the Maverick may be necessary for Ford to sustain its unit economics, but it does leave buyers wanting more. The new Subaru Brat's interior will be built with nicer plastics and will sport more features than its prospective rival in the compact pickup segment. Price The company wants to price competitively. It is aware of the price sensitiveness of the segment it is venturing into, and it wants to take no risks. The Ford Maverick Base XL trim starts at $22,595, the Maverick XLT follows at $24,855, and the Lariat is priced at $28,355. Obviously, these are the company's suggested prices, and the Maverick's effective prices are much higher. Due to a demand supply gulf, the dealer margins have skyrocketed, which means that buyers have to spend a lot more than they initially thought they're going to. The new Subaru Brat, however, wants to compete fiercely. This is why it'll be pricing the base trim for its newest truck around the 23 grand mark. This will actually make it cheaper than the Maverick. The dealer premiums will play into its pricing strategy and make it more competitive. Obviously, if the Subaru Brat runs into similar supply-demand issues as the Maverick, it can be another story altogether, but right now, it doesn't look like it will. 